Hi, I'm Gerard. I'm part of the Awaken Ireland movement. What we're doing is we, we, we just we educate people on rights and all of these things because unfortunately in Ireland at the moment if you don't know your rights you have no rights so it's very important to wake people up to the rights they actually have because a lot of people just think they have none and they've been walked upon by a corrupt society so it's all about self-empowerment so that's what we do we we go around and we we, we set up communities and we're all about re-empowering community through education and through using social media to actually to, to get this message out to people. Um, so today I'm just going to talk a small bit about the, the Constitution and a small little touch just on, on, on basic law and stuff like that. Basically in Ireland at the moment, if you don't know your rights, unfortunately you have none. So some entity has to educate, on, educate you on that. So we use social media as a means of educating you. So basically I'm just going to talk about the constitution. Um, and I'm going to just amaze you with rights that you didn't even know you had. The very first one is all the fundamental right, all citizens shall as human persons be held equal before law. Basically what that means is the the, the, the Garda Shikona, it's their job to uphold constitution and law and the role of a peacekeeper because that's what Garda Shikona means. So they actually all swore a oath to uphold the constitution and that's actually the terms and condition of their office. The word sovereign is very important, that's very important to the people of Ireland because um, it's all about sovereignty. Sovereignty versus commercial law is one of the biggest problems in Ireland at the moment. Like, we are all born sovereign. We have been falsely educated that money is sovereign, but it's not, it's actually people. So what is sovereignty? Sovereignty is a means of living your rights as living people. And anybody sovereign actually overstands any corporation operating on the land. You legally and lawfully overstand any corporation operating on your land. So if anyone is operating for financial gain on your land, you, they need to answer to you, you know, because they're up, so you can ask them for licensing and all this kind of stuff. Um, as well as that, like people, people think the state is the Oireachtas. The state is not the Oireachtas. How it works is like printed words are stated. So the state is actually the constitution and how it works is everything needs to be stated in the constitution to be part of the state. And if it's not stated, then it's not part of the state. What they're after doing is they're after creating a class-based system based upon those who know and those who don't and then regulated by finances. So you'll have a, you, you have a scenario, for me I come from a working class area, so nobody in my area could actually could afford to actually learn law because it costed so much money to go to UCC. So we, 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 we couldn't afford it, it would have cost about say 20 grand or at least anyway to learn anything from law. So it was a means of suppressing common man from, learn, from knowing rights and stuff. And so what, what's after happening across the country now is we're all after self-educating ourselves and we're setting up communities everywhere to educate everyone on how to actually do things, how to deal with bills, how to deal with fines, how to deal with court summonses. Like it's even very interesting when it comes to uh, bills and stuff like that. Most people think that they have got, most, nobody has ever actually in this country got an ESP bill. You've only ever got uh, a notification because legally it can only be a bill if it's written, in, it has to have signed in blue ink. The word signature means sign of nature lawfully. So that means you can trace back where your money is going, but it's only a notice. So they only send you a notice. So if you go into a restaurant and you eat food, if the owner comes, the restaurant comes over to you and actually gives you a notice, You'd be kind of saying to yourself, do I have to pay that? Why didn't you give me a bill? Why is he only giving me a notice? Because you don't have to pay a notice, you know? So you've only ever got notice of the ESP. So what a lot of, what the ways in which you challenge is you, you write back to them on it, you return it to sender and write, send me a valid bill. And the thing is, they cannot send you a valid bill because they can't sign it because whoever signs it will be arrested for extortion of Irish national resources. So I've actually friends who haven't paid anything in about seven years. But as I said, it has to be peaceful across the board. Cause, like I'm all about peaceful education and peacefully challenging stuff to get answers that you deserve. So if you wanna, if you wanna find out any more information, please contact us on, uh, on Facebook on Awaken Ireland or Awaken Balafahan. Balafahan spelled B-A-I-L-E-F-E-I-T-H-E-A-I-N, Awaken Balafahan. Thank you very much and thank you very much for your time. you deserve, you know? Like this is the very book that judges and barristers are using to put us in prison.
looked up the dictionary to see what the word fine means. Now, like if I said the weather is fine, I don't mean the weather owes somebody money. The words you speak are your tools.